and he is starting at guard. It is Olam against West. The tap controlled by the Bulls, and our NBA season for 1985 is underway. Sidney Ginson takes it right down the lane. Tough shot off the glass, and they call the offensive foul on Hibson. Says it will not count. Excuse me, Jim said that Roy led with the elbow as he went that way. No team foul. Hubbard to Bagley, swing it to free in the corner. And that's how you get on the board. Macy with perimeter passing to Woolrich. You can't handle the ball outside. Jordan baseline. Good defense that time by free. But the double pump allows Jordan to knock it in. This is for the rebound. Loose on the floor. Picked up by Jordan. Here come the Bulls on the transition. West in the middle for the Cavaliers. As we open the 85 season. Down low. Good pass. Gets it, got it. Laid it in for the left hand. And that's... A good example, Jim, of the improvement of Roy Hinson. 9.35 to play in the first period. This is free against Jordan. World pulls up for the outside one-hander. Believe me, when he gets it going, Unbelievable. It's, it's twine time. He had Michael going the opposite way, so Michael wanted to return the favor. There's the two-man game. Good dish off that time by Jordan to the seven-footer, Olam. Bagley on the outside. Jordan knocks it away. Free hustles and runs it down. The ball twice. Bagley penetrates. Oh. He got hammered. Foul will go on Oldham. Jordan blocked the ball cleanly, but it was Oldham who caught him with the body. Watch the advantage of the penetration. John Bagley, as he does so well, got it inside. Oldham there with the foul. Another angle on it. Look, Hubbard all alone. Jordan came over to help out, but Oldham committed the foul. Oldham what a great year Phil had last year for the Kings. Underneath, West comes up with it, knocked away by Jordan. And I believe Bagley got him with a reach in on the loose ball. John, as often happens when he lost the ball, tried to reach and grab it back, and got called for the hand on the hip right there. First foul on Bags. Third team foul for the Bullets. Woolridge back outside Macy, swing it to Jordan. Pulls up, free throw line, double clutch off the glass. You see the result. My, oh, my. He was totally off balance there and still got the shot off the glass. Four points for Air Jordan. Realize the limitations of Dave Corzine now. Three in the corner. Automatic. 14-11, Bulls in front. 7.05 to play first period. Jordan, good penetrating move. Unstoppable. Six points for Jordan as the team's trade hoops. Just under seven minutes to play here in the first period. A five-point Cavs deficit. Seven of 11 as you look at Stan Albeck. New here to the Chicago area. The Cavs were five of six in the early going thus far. Rebounding and Magic. Bagley turns it over on a walk right in front of the official. If you're going to walk, don't do it when they're looking. That's it. <laughs> Here's Macy to Jordan on the outside for the jumper. Jordan with eight points. Next opportunity to check in. Dirk Minifield will be coming in at guard. Free trying to get loose. He draws Woolridge with him, and they've got Hubbard against Jordan down low. Hits it, takes it right over the top and missed the slam. Deep rebound to Bagley. Underneath, he threw it away. No, it was tapped by a Chicago Tucky. player, I believe. He played with Melvin Turpin. Ball is loose. Minifield runs Chicago Bulls. Dave Corzine comes into the ball game, replacing Juwan Oldham. Boobirds. Mixed crowd. Yes. Yeah. Boobirds are already out on Corzine, and it's the first game of the season. Not a popular fellow here, even though he had great seasons at the ball and played very, very well when he was in San Antonio. But since he's been with the Bulls, a little bit of a bust, to say the least. Minifield in the Cavalier official record book. Free goes right by Jordan. Great move by World B. Eight points for Free. Around, no good. Rebound knocked away. Free gets it back. He goes in and scores. Good defensive pressure. Corzine will challenge and hits it. Misses the left hand slam. The foul to Corzine. And one of the things I think we should talk about tonight involving George Gervin is the relationship with Michael Jordan, Jim. Yeah, it, it was very strained today in the newspaper accounts and also on all of the television uh, stations. They were all doing their reports live from the stadium here tonight, indicating that Jordan extremely upset because of uh, Gervin's acquisition with the team, stating the fact that, well, first off, he was angry because uh, his best friend on the club, David Greenwood, was gone, and then his second best friend, 
Rod Higgins also gone. They had to release Higgins in order to meet the salary cap as the Cavs do a good job at center floor to force the jump ball. What they did there is they got the guy they wanted to have the ball, Sidney Green, and ran the Dean Smith jump trap at center floor. George is picking up from the old men. You bet he is. Two minutes. Two minutes to play in the quarter. It's a one-point ball advantage at 24-23. Jordan also has concerns as how often he's going to see the ball since both he and Gervin play the same style of game. The ball red. And the Bulls on top by three. They led by seven on two occasions here in the first period. Free from the outside. He's going to take it right to the hoop, and he's nailed. Now that, my friends, is the way you get to the free throw line, and he is one of the best at doing that. And there's no question around the NBA, this guy does not play a heck of a lot of defense. Now listen, even you could get a bucket on him. And you see the whack across the arm will send World to the line for a pair. Average 16 points a contest during the preseason, second leading score behind Henson. An 11 point first period already for World. 26-24, 26-25, 131 to play. Chicago has a one-point advantage. So now you have Jordan playing the point guard slot. Gervin blocked before he made his move in between Edgar Jones and Dirk Minifield. Again, the jump trap, this time with three guys, free Minifield and Edgar Jones, and it paid off. Well, this is a smart move. Under a minute to play. World with a three-point shot. That takes care of that three-point lead. For the Bulls, they stay with Michael Jordan. Is uh, too far outside for him. But they are big on the floor it's right true, now. Sure, they are. So I tell you what, Bennett Salvatore working the baseline, one of the good young officials now in the NBA. I think he does an excellent job. Here's Ice with his first shot. No good. Good block out that time by Turpin. Cavaliers underneath. Bagley spinning move in the lane to Edgar baseline, and he got that one to fall. Well, everybody collapsed around Bags, and EJ was wide open on a baseline. Edgar's first basket. Cavalier four-point advantage. Jordan from outside. They're trying to post Gervin down low on Ronald Ronnie Macy into the lineup. Jordan will get his first rest. Now you'll see much more of a real set offense. Macy in there is a conservative player, to say the least. Anderson had a good preseason, as did Mel Turpin, who is cutter and stronger. Worked hard on the waist to improve that upper body strength. Gervin with a shot. Nice man, his first basket. Well, they could have fireworks in this town. But not much defense. That's true. Ron Anderson nails it from the baseline. Ronnie, of course, is a native of Chicago. And after a while, when he does so many of them, you stop saying they were unbelievable. Well, you don't want that man to start to unload. That's four points for Gervin. 42-40. Chicago in front by a deuce. Bagley playing the point, swinging around. Ron Anderson's got another one. Young man out of Fresno State had all the injury troubles last season. Timeout's going to be called. We'll do the same. 6.54 to play in the first half. It's a two point Chicago lead at 44 42. And play has begun. It is Bagley, Free, Henson, Hubbard, and West against Macy, Jordan. Green, Olaf, and Woolridge. Woolridge going baseline, spin move, rejected beautifully by West. And that's what you need is a stopper in the center of the lane. Bagley the other way, give it off to World. 15 first half point, penetrate, tried to dish it. Wanted to get it over to West. Mark didn't see the ball coming, and it just went out of bounds. That makes coaches' hairs grayer. Or thinner in Georgia's case. <laughs> Kill me for saying that. Yep. We'll hear about that one tomorrow. Wife Kathy will get out of me. Jordan from the outside. Michael Jordan. 16 points for MJ. Bagley swings it to Hubbard, who pops out in between the circles. Ball rebounds to Green. Outlet pass goes to Jordan. He's got Woolridge breaking and sticking him off the hold of Who is the Man coming down the center of the lane on the trail. Good court vision by Michael Jordan as the Cavs were starting to sag back to Orlando Woolridge on the other wing. Just everything. 
Jordan right back the other way. Inside, Woolridge, and he's hammered by Henson. Henson, Woolridge to the line. That is his first five rebounds in that period, a collection of 12 for either club. Henson from outside. And Roy nailed it. 17, 18 foot jumper that often. He has developed confidence in that jump shot. That will further spread open the floor for the Cavs offensively. They double team Jordan in the corner. And the whistle and the foul, and it's on free. World a little slow there, got caught with the whack on the arm. Because it was a good idea to mark just a hair too long. Jordan between the legs, dribble outside. He is triple teamed right there. Now they dish it off. Down low. Nice pass that time by Sidney Green as Jordan gets the slam. Well, one thing about Michael Jordan, he will not stand still if he doesn't have the basketball. Good movement away from the ball to produce that basket. Jordan with 18, and he's bellied right up to World B. And Free did the right thing as he got the foul on Jordan. There's the Jordan basket a moment ago as he caught the Cavs a little slow reacting to him for the easy slam at the other end. Jordan picked up his third and another quick whistle. This one's on Sidney Green. That's his second and the second team foul. Here's Bagley outside. Let's see if they try to work on Green a little more. Hits it. No good. Rebound. Just enough of that basketball. Now we got a technical foul on George Carl as Bennett Salvatore came up the floor. George asked him for a good place for Chicago style pizza and Bennett said not while we're playing George and called the technical and that'll send Macy to the line. One of, the of course in part due to the fact that he doesn't take that many shots. Oh and he missed it. He doesn't go to the line that often but you're right he does have very good proficiency. We'll be glad that he missed that one though. George Carl still talking. George is saying to himself hey. I got away with more than that last year. Not being a nice guy, and I get the T. Well, Bennett Salvatore was all the way on the other side. Gaz with just one basket here in three and a half minutes of third quarter action. Free from way outside, short. Rebound. 62 55, backcourt pressure. They get it to Jordan, who breaks it, goes right to the hoop. All up. Here's an battle back. They are developing the same scenario here tonight. And everybody knows that's a tough way to win. Oakley makes the first one. His first point as an NBA player. This young man was outstanding in Division II basketball at Virginia Union down in Richmond. I saw him play in college. He's got a lot of talent. Ten point bull lead at 65 55. Free against Jordan. World loses it. Now he's double team. Rebound that never came. Bagley right over Macy. Nice pass. Jordan cuts loose down below and scores. They back pick that time, and World B got and taken he out. He can the double pump better than anybody, or as well as anybody. That's correct. Hits it to Hubbard. Rather springs out. Hub puts up one and will drop. Ball is loose. Jordan comes up with it. Goes around free on the break to Woolridge. Outlet goes to Hubbard. It's one hander. Got it back. Goes up and he's hammered. And if it wasn't Macy, it was Oakley. But it's I think it Macy. was Macy. Boy, Macy. Roy Hinson with just a fabulous block on Orlando Woolridge at the other end of the floor. The Cavs are still struggling offensively. George Gervin popping up off the bench for the Bulls. Well converts on his first opportunity. Gervin in. Macy will leave. That's the first point by World since he scored 15 in the first period. There's Gervin back in the ball game. George with four points and two fouls. 17 points now for free. As Jack mentioned 15 in the first period. And then we didn't hear from him again until now. And they need to get him off. Point Chicago lead, 5:35 to play in the third. They're trying to post up against Turpin down low. That is the ice man in the lane. Oakley walked, but there was no Oakley. All alone at the other end is free. Now that's the defense that George Carl is hoping to see to get them back into this game. They now trail by seven, so a little burst here 
free is picked up four quick ones. He now has 19 total. Gervin, no good. Rebound battled for. Hinson with a rebound. Outlet to free. Three on one. Over to Bagley. In underneath for the reverse, and he scores. The George bench. in front of our broadcast position, directing traffic. Eight points for Bagley, and quickly Chicago calls time. An eight-point spurt by the Cavs. They're right back well, in. He couldn't it. control it. He was out of control, going too far past the basket. Jordan Lobb into the corner. Turpin almost got it. Down low, wide open. Ice rebound. I think they're going to call Oakley for basket interference. They did. Still in the cylinder. It was good vision on the part of Michael Jordan, or excuse me, Orlando Woolridge, who spotted Gervin all alone, but he really could take an easy shot, and there you saw Oakley grab the front of the rim. Bagley penetrates, falls away. Now, that's the shot that I was talking about. He's already got him in the paint, so just fall away from five or six feet and drop in the short jumper. Ten points for Bagley in double figures now. A ten-point run now by the Cavs. They trail by three. They did this so often last year against the Chicago club. Here's Ice in the corner. Loses his footing, goes down, dished at the Corsi. Seven point third quarter for the Big O. 72 67. Free penetrates off the glass and he got it to drop in. Basketball. Hubbard to Bagley. Bagley, dish, free, puts it up. It counts and he's fouled. And it's on Jordan and that's five. It was a cheap one, but a great pass by John Bagley. And Jordan, who they were trying to get off the floor, picks up his fifth. All the substitutions as Jordan goes to the bench. Kyle Macy is in, along with Gene Banks. Extremely quick hands. Dirk, as Anderson collects the easy layup at the other end. Cavs just have too much speed on the floor right now for the Bulls. And that Cavs can tie with a hoop here with 140 to play in period three. Edgar from way outside. Oh, good heavens. Trails by a deuce. Minifield right to the hoop for the swoop and the score. Absolutely amazed me. Cavs with a chance to take a two-point lead as Ron Anderson goes to the line. Just great hustle once again, Jim. We can't emphasize enough the hustle of Dirk Minifield that resulted in the Anderson basket. 91. 89. Michael Jordan back into the lineup. Remember, he's playing with five personal fouls. Jordan and Mason. 25 points tonight for Orlando Woolridge. Sidney Green also has and five personal fouls. Nobody picked him up because Jordan, Macy, and Green were all around the basketball. They're looking for World around the pick. They got Hinson posting down low on Green. World penetrates, dishes, Poquette, top of the circle. Big Ben into the book. Walridge going baseline. And West pinned it against the glass. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, Jack, I think if he wouldn't have pinned it against the glass, it might have been a good block. Good first step here by Walridge as he goes to the hoop. And... Trying to get it to World to get that sixth foul on Jordan. They're working at it. Here it is. Bad shot by well, Green. Stan Albeck and company. Tex winner down there chatting with each other. They're going to figure out who in the world are they going to put in. They're going to go with Ice, the guy who just got into town, or are they going to go with a big guy? It's going to be Corzine. And you can hear the fans' reaction to that. So they're going to really go big on the front line with Corzine and all of the two seven-footers and Woolrich at 6'8". What happens to the Bulls right now offensively though Jim with the five personal fouls on Jordan they really become a half court perimeter team because you're taking away Michael's penetration with those five personals 15 points for Henson make it 16 7 94 430 to play here comes the pressure right at midcourt on the trap Jordan breaks it drew the foul and I believe it's on free for a push it was a cheapie but he definitely didn't do it and that is four on world and that's something I'm sure that Coach George Carl is not happy to see. You don't want him to go to the free throw line and score when the clock is stopped. Not when there's four minutes remaining. Particularly Jordan as well, Jim, because he's got those five personal fouls. So make him work for the offensive points. Exactly. Don't get the easy ones. 22 for Jordan. 
Yes. It's Macy, Jordan, Olin, Corzine, and Woolrich. Bagley knifes inside off the glass with a splendid right hand flip move. Ball knocked away. Here's Jordan on the break against Free. Member World's got four. Beautiful block by Henson as he came from the weak side. Good defense now by Chicago. They've got Woolrich on World and and Woolrich, I believe, has got him with a bump. Yep. There's at least one Cavs fan out there. Howard France wanted to say hello to his wife back in Cleveland and wanted to say hello to his brothers who are watching Channel 43 down in Columbus. Well, that's awfully nice. We pass along all the information. Three connects on the first and the second. It's Jordan, he's looking for it right here. Spins on Jordan, dead to kick it off. Bagley's got it, penetrates. Tough shot with the flip, it's good! John Bagley! He's unbelievable with those the stadium shots. in Chicago, one point, Cleveland lead. Free, goes by Jordan, pump fake. Free, Kicks it and saves it right into the hands of Henson. Three seconds, Three seconds. Shot he's got to shoot it right here. World. Free! It's good! And it's a four, no. Oops, it's, and they called the technical. They called the technical to go with it. Now that's something which really is a no-no here. Now the ball back. You'll see it right here. Watch Hubbard push off with the free arm against Woolridge. Although Woolridge made the move as well. That's Macy hitting. He played the entire fourth period. Hits and controls the tap. Macy to Jordan baseline. Michael looking for the shot on a one-on-one. -on -one. They double up beautifully. Macy's got it. Back outside. Jordan for the jumper. Incidental contact. Important defensive sequence right here for the Cavs. They There's don't want to Jordan fall behind. in underneath. Corzine is hammered on his way to the basket. Good pass that time by Jordan. He sees the court so well. Bagley called for the foul, his third. There's Jordan. Good movement off the ball by Dave Corzine. The Cavs have failed to score in the overtime period. Bagley in the front court. Goes around one screen to the top of the circle. Still turn it over. He lost it because Woolridge gave him a bump with the hit. Jordan down the lane. A tough shot. 26 for Michael J. That's why he's paid the big bucks. And out of bounds. Five on the shot clock. 2.02 to play in the overtime. 111-106 Chicago. Woolridge will trigger the inbounds. Olam's got it, tough spot, outside. And it's good. Michael Jordan, who else? And the Cavs will take a timeout. Three straight jumpers by Michael Jordan. And the Bulls have outscored the Cavs in regulation, eight to one. Bagley quickly into the front court. Let's see if they go down low. Looking for Hinson, he's got it against Olam. Spins, oh, he slams right over him, and, he's and he threw the foul. Now, it never was, as it now in front court. They double team. Man into the front court, 120. Three pointer. Oh, he hit it. Ben Pope counts for two. A steal. Bagley goes the other way. He's hit from behind, off to Minifield. He puts it up, it's good. And just like that, the Cavaliers have tied the game at 113. Unbelievable. Jordan hit by Hubbard. And I bet they're going to call Hubbard because he did not give Jordan room to turn around and come down and hit the ground after he was in the air. He was trying to draw the foul on Kyle Macy. He didn't get the good shot off. Jordan against Free. Double clutch. And hits and got a piece of it to block the shot. But Free is called for the foul. That's five on World. Well, I'll tell you, Henson comes from the weak side so well to help defensively. As Al McGuire would say, I like it now. It's on the odds, so you can't get the tie if Jordan makes this one. He did. Bulls lead by one. If it were me, I'd go to that man, Henson. Bagley. Down to Henson. Ten he seconds. spins. Goes up. No good. Rebound. Seconds as Chicago is going to win this game. They do. The Corzine got the body and blocked out Mel Turpin to come up with the defensive rebound to give the Bulls the overtime victory. It was not a good shot by Henson. 
They might have kicked the ball back outside and tried to reset. They had time on the shot clock, on the game clock. But Hinson threw up a prayer, and it wasn't answered.